I'm not good with accessibility for the web. I'm kind of ashamed to admit it, but it's been on my mind for a while, so I'm gonna try and do better. The other day at work, a colleague of mine raised in a dev sync meeting how we need to stop using pixels. And yeah, as you could probably guess, it's because they can be quite problematic when it comes to accessibility. Let me give you an example. So as you can see here, I've built a simple application using HTML and CSS. And we'll start here by taking a look at the different font sizes we have in the elements tab here. So if I look at the P tag, um, you can see here that this is fixed to a font size of 16 pixels. H2 is fixed to a font size of 24 pixels. And we can have a look up here. We've got a H1, which is fixed to a font size of 32 pixels. Now, if a user was struggling to actually read the text, they might be able to use the zoom tool, which you can just do command plus to zoom in on Chrome. And that does make the text bigger. But what you see is it's actually making every element bigger and it starts to move things around and looks a bit funny. So it's not really ideal when it comes to accessibility. Every modern browser actually has a way to set the base font size. So if we look at the Chrome settings here, you can see there's a font size section and it's defaulted to medium. Now, if I was to change that, I could change it to large, very large, very small or small. So if I was to change the font size to very large, you can see that these elements haven't changed at all. The list itself has changed and that's because I haven't set a specific font size on the list. So the list has inherited its font size from the browser. But you can look at H1 and that's still set to 32 pixels, it didn't change. The other two, H2 is the same and the P tag is also the same. So you can see here 16 pixels and 24 pixels. That hasn't changed. So the way around this is instead of using pixels, we're gonna use rems. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna change the font size here to two rems. I'm gonna comment this out. And that's to 1.5 rem. And then the P tag is gonna to go to one rem. Now I'm gonna give that a refresh and you can see by refreshing, the very large font size has suddenly kicked in. So I'm gonna change that back to medium. You can see that that's back to normal. I can change it to large gets a little bit bigger, I can change it to very large, gets even bigger. So now we actually have a responsive font size. So what is actually happening here? So the browser is taking the rem value and is actually using the base font size to calculate a pixel value. So if I look at the H2 here, for example, you can see, yeah, it says font size of 1.5 rem. If I go into the computer tab, you can see here it's actually returning that font size of 24 pixels, which is what we initially had it set at. Same for the P tag, the computed font size for that is 16 pixels, but we are seeing a font size here of one rem. So if I was to change this again to very large, you can see now that the computed value of the P tag is actually 24 pixels. So what's actually happened here is that the base font size of the browser has gone from 16 pixels to 24 pixels. Similarly, if we look at the H1, you'll remember we set that at two rem, computed value of that is going to be double the base font size. So that's now 48 pixels. Again, if you go back down to medium, you'll see that the base font size is then 16 pixels and twice that is 32 pixels. So that's how rems work. And then we'll go back to very large and you can see we have a problem here with this actual box. And we'll inspect the elements and we can see here that the height is set to 50 pixels. So if I was to swap that out, I'm gonna comment in five rems and uncomment that. You can now see that the box is also resizing. So I go back to medium, the box gets a bit smaller, go back to large, you can see it grows, and then very large, it's continuing to grow. So this doesn't just apply for font sizes, it also applies to divs and any other elements that you're sizing. Now, if you've already heard of rems, you've probably also heard of ems, and you're probably wondering, what's the difference? Both are translated by the browser into pixels and therefore aren't a fixed size. We've also learned that with rems, the browser will take your rem value and basically multiply it times the base font size of the root element, or in our case, the browser, to get their pixel value. Ems are very similar. However, they don't actually use the base font size of the root element or the browser. They use the base font size of the element that they are being used in. This can get tricky if you nest elements with different font sizes. Let me show you. So I'm gonna start by changing the font size of the P tag to one EM and the H2 tag to 1.5 EM. 
and we'll look quickly and we'll give that a refresh and nothing's changed. And if I was to change the size of this to very large, it works as expected. Now I'll change that back to medium. I have the about section here, which is the parent element of this H2 and P2 tag, right? So if I take a look at the about section and I wanna set a font size on that, and set that font size to 1.5 rems. I'll give this a refresh and you can see now that without touching H1 and H2, they've changed in size. So, so we'll look at about section. We can see font size is 1.5 rem, which computes to 24 pixels. That is now the base font size as far as the EMs are concerned. So H2 is a font size of 1.5 EM. So that is now 1.5 times the base font size from about section, which is 24 pixels. And that equates to 36 pixels. Again, the P tag is one EM. So that is now one times the size of the base font size, which again, we saw was 24 pixels. So you can see that calculates to 24 pixels. So that's how EMs work. There's a lot we could go into as to why you might use one unit over the other unit, but the purpose of this video was to really show you how they both work. And also to help you realize how important it is to not use pixels when it comes to accessibility. Unfortunately, I've got a good bit of work ahead of me if I'm gonna convert my app away from pixels. I hope you've learned something new today. If you could help me get this channel off the ground by liking the video and subscribing to the channel, that would be really cool. Happy coding, and I'll see you next time.